As you know, uh, this is the third meeting of uh, Armenia EU Partnership Council, and uh, it is timely and important meeting when we are going to discuss a wide range of issues, starting from the uh, situation in Nagorno-Karabakh and the region, and also uh, issues concerning with uh, Armenia EU uh, political dialogue, uh, implementation of comprehensive and enhanced partnership agreement, uh, as well as uh, our participation at, uh, in the framework of Eastern Partnership. Of course, uh, we will also address the issues of negative impact of the COVID-19 pandemic on different spheres uh, of our life and the ways of overcoming it. Um, that will be, that will be uh, an important uh, reflection on our reforms agenda, including democracy, implementation of uh, rule of law and protection of human rights. Uh, we will touch upon the cooperation uh, in uh, different sectors, uh, among them trade and economy, political dialogue, uh, education, transport, energy and environment. Uh, I would like to note with sat satisfaction that since our last Partnership Council meeting, all but one state has already notified about the ratification of the SEPA agreement and uh, the draft uh, of the roadmap of the provisions uh, that still are not into force have been drafted in Armenia and we are looking very much forward to the early prom uh, prompt uh, ratification of the SEPA and its full entry into the force. So the effects uh, of our cooperation will amplify and multiply to the benefit of the people of uh, Republic of Armenia. Of course, at the center of our discussion will be uh, the regional topics and the conflict uh, war in Nagorno-Karabakh, where uh, when Azerbaijan uh, challenged the values of the very initiative of Eastern Partnership, our core European values. Azerbaijan blatantly violated its international commitments uh, using, uh, uh, by using the force against the right of self-determination of the people of Artsakh, uh, deliberately uh, targeting the civilian population and also vital civilian infrastructure, um, uh, committing, uh, uh, committing um, systematic and heinous uh, war crimes, uh, wiping out, uh, wiping out uh, uh, the, not only the people, indigenous people of Artsakh, of Nagorno-Karabakh, but also our rich uh, religious and cultural heritage. So demonstrate, demonstrating explicitly its genocidal intent to wipe out any reminders of the Armenia's millennia old presence in the region. Uh, you know that uh, this aggression was directly uh, supported by Turkey uh, and uh, in overall uh, this uh, aggression undermined the security and peace in the South Caucasus. It also uh, put in evidence that Turkey and Azerbaijan uh, set a precedent for uh, solving the conflict in the area of Eastern Partnership and in this regard we would like to hear uh, the opinion of uh, our colleagues of the European Union about uh, this last aggression and its implication on regional stability. Uh, cynical and aggressive uh, behavior of Azerbaijan uh, are not acceptable and uh, should be, should be uh, condemned because they put into question the core values of uh, Eastern Partnership. We are also looking very much forward to hearing the role of the European Union in addressing the consequences of this aggression, particularly uh, uh, in regard to the overcoming the humanitarian crisis on the ground. I thank you.
in uh, different sectors, uh, among them trade and economy, political dialogue, uh, education, trust, the very initiative of Eastern Partnership, our core European value. Azerbaijan blatantly violated its international commitments, uh, harming the humanitarian crisis on the ground.